Hey everyone! Welcome to today's video. I'm just going to be doing a short unboxing of a recent Archer and Olive haul that I did. It's a very small haul, I just needed to stock up on a few new journals, so let me go ahead and grab the package and get to unboxing. Alright, so here is the package. It's pretty heavy. It's a small, cute little package has some adorable packing tape on it that has the classic Archer and Olive floral decorations on it and their brand name here as well. So I almost don't even want to tear into it because it's just so beautiful as is. But let me go ahead and just grab my scissors and open this up for you. All right, so just on top is the packing list here. Then here is what's inside the box. It just perfectly fits their B5 sized journals, which I absolutely love. Not a lot of wasted space. As you can see, these are the boxes that the journals come in. They're just very beautiful and I absolutely love this rusted terracotta color with their beautiful floral and foliage detailings on it. So it looks like they all come in the same type of box, the same color box, and they all have this plastic wrap around them to make sure that they are sealed tightly in the packaging. So like I mentioned, I only purchased a few of their journals from their new fall collection. I believe it was called Attic Treasures, so their fall 2024 collection. Then they had some new designs for their B5 journals, which I have really been waiting for. Um, I mentioned this in a video earlier in the spring, how I've just been struggling to find B5 sized journals on the market lately. So I was very excited to see that Archer and Olive came out with a very beautiful line of journals for the fall. So I, of course, had to get my order in pretty much the day that they released just because I wasn't sure how long they would be in stock. So let's go ahead and just open these one by one. So I'll go ahead and just open these one by one and then just show you which journals I got from the collection. So now that I have them out of the plastic, then as you can see, they come in this very beautiful embroidered box sleeve. And so it has just a little tab here where you can pull the inner box out, which has the journal inside. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first journal. So here is the first journal that I ordered. It's just a very beautiful, simple leaf design, just kind of flowing in the wind. This is basically my favorite color. I absolutely love it when they release journals in this shade. It's very beautiful with the gold detailing on it as well. And then as you can see, it's just the white pages inside. Very beautiful, just exactly what I would expect from Archer and Olive. Just wonderful quality journals. So of course it comes with the elastic closure here and a pen loop as always. And then on the inside it has this very beautiful foiled leaf effect which is very fitting for fall. Only on the inside front cover for the inside back cover, then they have their typical uh, pocket back here where you can store just extra paper and whatnot. And then they have the thick 160 GSM paper, just a bright white 
and then their dotted pages. And then they also come with two ribbon bookmarks, one that includes their little emblem on it, and then one that's just plain. So just a very, very beautiful journal, which I am very excited to use. For this one, I believe I may just use this as what I like to call my dump journals, or perhaps a better, more accurate name for it would be like my creative journaling. So it wouldn't be for my bullet journal, um, it would just be for creative journaling. So there's the first one. Now we'll go ahead and open up this box here. So this is their acorn design. It's very beautiful. It is a vegan leather cover, I believe. This one's more of like a linen color, their traditional more linen cover. This one is a smooth vegan leather. Very beautiful. Again, just a deeper tone of my favorite color here. So very beautiful, rustic, perfect for fall. It has this very beautiful, simple acorn foil design here. Very interesting. I know that Archer and Olive has been venturing out and creating more different covers for their journals and kind of straying away from their traditional, more minimal journal covers like this one here. But I thought that this one was very beautiful and I'm, I do prefer their vegan leather covers just because I do have cats and they shed a lot. So it's nice to have journals that don't collect a lot of lint and pet hair on. So on the inside of the cover, then it has this very beautiful foil detailing again with the acorns and different leaf motifs. And then again, just with the back pocket here, the pen loop over here, elastic closure once again. Here is the back side, which is just a similar design to the front minus the gold detailings, which is perfectly fine with me. And then again, it just has the ribbon bookmarks again, one, just a plain one, and then one with the Archer and Olive emblem on it. So very beautiful. I am anticipating that I will use this one as my 2025 bullet journal. So just because it has the vegan leather and it looks different compared to the other bullet journals that I've had. So I think this one will be a very nice one to have for next year. And especially having the vegan leather cover, then I think it might be a little bit more durable and last throughout the year a lot better than the linen cover ones. So there's journal number two. All right, let's go ahead and open up the last box. Alright, so here is the final journal that I ordered. It's this very beautiful mossy olive green cover. It has a very smooth cover. I believe this may also be another vegan leather cover of theirs, but it just has this beautiful foil design of the owl on top of some books and some suitcases and a lamp. So again, all of the same features as before with a pen loop on the side here, the elastic closure. Take a look on the inside. Here on the inside then we have some beautiful feather foil designs. Again with the back pocket here. As well as the double ribbon bookmark right here. And for this one, then I expect this one to be also another dump journal or creative journal. So I think what I'll end up using this journal as well as the leaves journal would be for backups of my uh, creative journaling. So currently I'm using a B5 size of the notebook therapy journal. And once I'm done with that, then I'll either use this one or this one. Uh, it doesn't really matter 
on what order but that's mainly why I decided to get these would be to just use as my creative journaling or dumb journaling after I'm done with the notebook therapy one and then this one would be for my bullet journal for the year of 2025 so next year all right so that's it for my little archer and olive haul just these three beautiful journals so i hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions or comments i would love to hear from you and get back to you on any of those so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye